on microeconomics and we're looking at the concepts of profits. Now profit in business studies, if you teach a level of business studies or if you call it accountancy profit is literally just total revenue minus total costs and that is equal to profit. Uh, economist profit though is slightly different. It includes the opportunity costs. So for instance, if I, well, I'm a teacher, so if I give up teaching, then I have to give up my wage and then have to add on the opportunity or take the, the opportunity cost away from the profit. So say if I earn 30,000 pounds as a teacher, then I have to give that money up in order to start up the business. So the economist profit will always be less than the accountancy profit as I'm going to show in an example. So economist profit includes opportunity costs, as I just said, the, the economic cost for an economist is accounting cost plus the opportunity cost. And the accounting cost is just total costs, variable costs and fixed costs, in fact, which we previously covered in the other lessons. Uh, so for the economist, the profit is total revenue minus the economic cost. Okay. Economic profit, so here, the economic profit might be zero and the accounting profit could be positive. I'll give an example of it. So say if I run my own tutorial business, then my sales revenue is £80,000 a year. I pay £40,000 in wages per year. The cost are £10,000 and therefore my profit is 30000 quid. However, if I've given up a job of £30,000, my real profit, oh, sorry, that's incorrect, my economist profit is zero pounds. So accounting profit is always bigger than, sorry, is always smaller than, sorry, accounting profit is always bigger than economist profit. Okay. And then we look at the role of profit in society. Profit rewards risk takers, obviously. So if you set your own business, then you hopefully get a bigger reward, you get a higher amount of money because you're taking a risk. It's a stimulus to innovation because people come up with new ideas. So this in a way is, is a new idea. So the idea of this is I teach this one to a hundred and then we take this globally. We know we'll take it to India, we'll take it to China. So it's not a lot of innovation, but it is a certain amount of innovation that you can learn things through video and a little bit of tuition time. So it's quite innovative in terms of schools, I suppose. Uh, a source of funds for investment and research. So you make a profit, I make a profit from this, then I can think of new ways in which I can develop teaching. And so that gives me funds for research and development. A signal to investors and potential entrepreneurs. So if I make a profit here, then other investors will come in with their money because they say, hey, you can make money out of that idea. And other potential entrepreneurs may think, actually, that's not a bad idea, let's come into this business. Okay, so that is the role of profit. It's a bit like, let's go right back to the price mechanism. The price mechanism is a rationing functional signal and provides incentives. But the incentives really, really come through high prices means profit, more profit means more reward. Therefore, it attracts investors. Therefore, you, you're going to do more research and development. There's a stimulus to innovation and it's a reward for taking the risk of doing something different. That's it. We also look at the idea of social entrepreneurship. Right, now this is really important. Can you remember doing behavioral economics? We did that in lesson five and six. Choice architecture, default options, all that sort of stuff. But actually, one of those things is one of the uh, criteria for the neoclassical theory of man or for the economic view of man who is highly, uh, highly rational and uh, very, very selfish. Well, social entrepreneurship is about giving something back where you set up a business, but it has the aims are for the community or for the environment. So it aims to improve things. So you set up a, you, so you become what's called a social entrepreneur, which is actually what I do. So I'm setting this up to become a social entrepreneur. So I pay myself a wage, but then we give money to other educational projects, right? One of my key things, that, one of my key themes is that third world countries, I don't like the term, but third world countries can brand their own products. So for example, coffee was started off in Ethiopia. What happened was there was a goat eating coffee beans off a tree and was getting very, very, very excited. And then the humans looked at it and said, well, I wonder if we also uh, get those beans off that tree and put it in a cup of hot water, then what's gonna to happen to us? And they found it stimulated them and everything else. So that's where coffee started. So it actually originated in Ethiopia. So what I'm saying is, so what I say when I go out to the opera is, is right, you're, you're a coffee grower. Is it possible for you to brand that product? 
Of course, when you're a subsistence farmer, it's incredibly difficult to raise money and to even think about building up a brand. But maybe through YouTube and everything else, you may well be able to build up a brand these days, whereas previously you had to pay a lot of money to television producers. So that's an idea about social entrepreneurship. So how you can create wealth in those poorer communities. But Cafe Direct is an example. Restaurant 15 set up by Jamie Oliver. Great guy, wants people to eat healthy food. Can't understand why we all eat processed food, but also helps those who aren't going anywhere. Right, you can run a restaurant and it's really, it's a really cool thing to do. It's really interesting and you really enjoy it. But she obviously loves cooking as well. And also the Eden Project in Cornwall. So you can sometimes have an, an idea of social entrepreneurship, which is a really, really interesting subject in its own right. But I talk about that when I do the business studies A level. So what we've got on here is this is profit as a whole. We get business profit or accountancy profit and we also have economic profit, and we also have over here the role of profit. But just an interesting one on there, we also have social entrepreneurship. Thank you very much.